what's poppin'? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again for the sign of my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Aries. Shout out to all my Aries who got a birthday coming up. Yes, indeed. I know it is Aries season for a reason. Goddamn. Yes, ma'am. So, what's going on, you guys? It is Scorpion Reds. I'm here to let you guys know what is going on for the month of April. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Hello, 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 hello to you guys. Much love to you. Thank you so much for supporting, liking, sharing, and subscribing to my page. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal or private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can do so by clicking that um, About tab. There's a hyperlink down there that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. If this video resonates and if you would like to send a love donation, you could do so. My PayPal is in the description. Let's get into the prayer and let's get into the reading you guys for the month of April for the sign of Aries Father God thank you so much for bringing us here thank you so much a lot of us have birthdays coming up we are celebrating just like new transitions in our lives a lot of people have really been making a lot of big moves and right now we're starting to see that new foundation those walls finally being built you know we're seeing the roof going over top of the foundation we're seeing the door being put into the structure in the windows and just the security system we are seeing just the whole foundation just you know everything that we've been working for all right we've been seeing everything finally coming to fruition and we can place our eyes and put our hands on our hard work and our investment and everything that we've been doing to try to change and move forward and progress in life we're finally starting to get and be able to taste the fruits of our labor so we thank you so much father god for bringing us here at this moment father god please give the sign of aries continuous guidance for April 2019, thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Aries guidance for the month of April. Thank you. All right. So, you guys, this is the Wild Offering deck. So, we're going to start off with a message from them, okay? And forgive me if y'all hear my kids in the background. My God, kids are there with them. They is on. Um, so game that you put the game on your forehead. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres had it or something. I don't know. It's like some type of charades or something. So they in there having it up, y'all. Because I sure you just heard my son in there growling like a tiger. So, <laughs> Father God, please give me guidance for the sign of Aries. Ooh, well, there you go. Relationship. Ooh, this is a beautiful card, you guys. Relationship. Mm. I feel like a lot of people's... Listen, that heart chakra has been open for Aries. I feel like because... Because... So many blessings have been coming into Aries' life. I really do feel like... A lot of good has been coming for the ones that have really been trying to change you see the change in your life and for the ones that ain't been trying to change you see what you've been seeing however I do feel like for the Aries that have been working towards that change your heart chakra is being you know open in a door to relationships I feel like in a lot of relationships in regards to career things are changing in regards to your career I feel like um, for people that have been in marriages that your relationship is starting to blossom again I feel like maybe you guys are starting to look at, look at each other with a different set of eyes and starting to fall in love with each other all over again Sometimes people got to go through things, ups and downs and trials and tribulations for them to really appreciate the relationships and the things that they have in their life and learn how to treat it. And that's what I'm getting. I'm feeling like Aries learned a lot throughout this transition and they learn how to treat relationships and they appreciate their relationships. And I'm, I feel like the number four, just the foundations, like they care about their foundation, their hard work. Just having something reliable, predictable, you know what I'm saying? Having some type of order in their life. You know, I feel like Aries are coming to the point where they 
respect relationships and they understand it now and they're just not so quick to just do things to just throw it away anymore so let's read what this says because i was doing all that talking intuitively i ain't even uh, read the card i call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way may it now fully belong to the to the divine let it unfold in a perfect way for each of us i need it yeah, I needn't fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. Again, relationships. I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May it now and fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I needn't fear letting go of control. My needs are abundantly met. Like I said... Respecting and understanding how important relationships, business relationships, friend relationships, family relationships, relationship relationships. I feel like Aries is like really just respecting things. Respecting things now because you know Aries can have this kind of like I don't give a fuck kind of I'm going to do what the fuck I know what I'm doing I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying and, and y'all know how y'all can be sometimes y'all do y'all know listen y'all know how y'all can be so let's clarify let's clarify relationships for Aries you guys I need some music. What's popping? Right. Please give me some guidance for Aries for April. Thank you so much. Please give me the overall guidance for Aries for the month of April. Thank you so much. All the page of cups and the knight of cups. Yes, it is most definitely love coming in for y'all. Come on, Aries. Don't do it. But the chariot. Okay. The magician. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't think y'all trust this. Oh, but the ace of cups. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. So, Aries, y'all been getting some messages from a Knight of Cups. Possibly a, a Cancer's. I think it's a Cancer. Possibly a Cancer. A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But y'all don't trust this person because y'all, this, this person is tricked and betrayed you and... They, they've showed you their face before. They showed you who they are before. However, you know that this person does love you and that there is love there. But I just feel like y'all don't trust this person, Aries. Y'all do not trust this person. Hold on, guys. Mm-mm. <laughs> Look at these fish. Yes. Yeah. Y'all have been definitely getting some messages and, like, some form of communication it could be online it could be some communication through a family member or a friend um but i definitely see that it's either a, 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 a either a cancer or a pisces i want to say i'm not really getting scorpio here but i most definitely feel like it's either a cancer or a pisces that has been trying to communicate with you and just really wants to just like Whatever was done in the past, they want it to be in the past. Like, they want a new birth of this relationship. They want to just kind of start all over from the beginning. And this person is just, like, rushing forwardly, like, a knight in shining armor. I mean, this could, this could even be a female. But, you know, it's just saying that this person is just, like, coming hard and they're coming strong. And they're just like, look, I, I don't listen. I don't know and I don't really care what happened in the past. We need to leave the past in the past and start over and just give this thing a try. You know what I'm saying? We need to give this thing a try. I know in the past, I know in the past, you know, you 
wanted answers as to where the situation was going and I really didn't know where this was going because I didn't really know what I wanted you know my emotions was all over the place and one minute I was hot one minute I was cold I just wasn't I just wasn't in the best place. I couldn't tell you where things was going if I didn't know where things were going. How can I give you answers to something I didn't have answers to? You know, and I know that I did things in the past that was very, very misleading. And I kind of just, I misled you so that I can get my way. I wanted my cake and I, you know, and I wanted to eat it too. But at the same time, I do love you and you know that I love you. I've never stopped loving you. And I feel like this person, this person is like possibly trying to come back and communicate with you. Like, look, I know that I was fucked up. I know I did not appreciate and I did not respect this relationship. I did not respect this relationship. But if I didn't tell you before that I love you, I'm rushing forward. I'm, I'm, I'm making it clear if it ain't ever been clear before i'm making it sure that it's clear now that i do love you and i can't get no way with this if i don't communicate with you and let you know what's going on i just you know shoot me what shoot me for for trying to confess my love like i couldn't tell you where i was going if i didn't know where i wanted this to go like i didn't know what you know what i'm saying i was just doing whatever i wanted to do like i was a wreck and shit i still am a wreck but at the same time like i know that i want you i know that i want you in my life but this aries just still does not trust this person this aries does not trust this person ever it's the water sign that the Aries did this to them and they don't trust the Aries. They feel like the Aries is the magician in the reverse. Someone using their power for bad. This is someone that knows that they have a certain level of mind control and manipulation over this person because they love them. And they use that for their advantage. And this person burnt this person before. And that's why this person does not trust. So let's uh hmm. let's let's go here. Let's go here. I feel like Aries is going to tell somebody my little rose petals fell down. I feel like someone's going to tell tell it, um, the Aries. I if this is the Aries that is the magician, whoever is in the energy of this magician in reverse, they're going to throw the, the flowers down they're gonna say don't send me no flowers i don't want no flowers <laughs> like i don't trust you i don't feel like they trust them who have this the aries feels like this magician in reverse still don't know what they want they still don't have their emotions together and i feel like this person feels like you're coming to me premature because you're the knight of cups like i appreciate you rushing forward to me and everything like that but i need you to come at me with some king energy like you know Come at me better than that. Don't come at me still. Are you still giving off to me like you really don't know what you want and you still don't know where you want things to be headed? You you just want me. You just want me and you just don't want this situation to go nowhere. But you still up to your same shit. So don't send me no fucking flowers. You know? And y'all already know how Aries could be. Especially an Aries woman. Like, don't send me no motherfucking flowers. I don't want your fucking flowers. <laughs> Like the way when my roses just fell down like that, I just felt like it's just like don't send me them flowers. Chemistry. Excuse me. Mm mm mm. My nose was tickling like hell. Chemistry. There's still a lot of chemistry there. Me. Come on now. Come on now. Now listen. Listen to me. Aries, there's a lot of chemistry there, but I gotta release you. I don't I can't I don't 
I don't resonate with you no more. Like, I just, I don't. Aries do not trust this person. There's a lot of chemistry there. And, like, Aries knows deep down that this person really does love them. And that they love them, too. But I don't trust you. And my spirit is telling me that I need to release you. I need to release you because it's not safe for me to love in this situation. Like, you still don't know what you want. And you still up to your same fucking games. And Aries knows this shit. So, it's just like... You not about to just know I have to trust my gut. Because this is about trust. I'm not about to get in a situation with someone that's a magician in reverse that I can't trust. I need to trust you. And if I don't trust you and if I don't feel, if I don't trust you and if I don't feel it's safe to love in this situation, well, I, most important thing to me is trust. My spirit is telling me that it's not safe. My spirit is telling me that I need to release this ex. Okay? So I have to trust my gut. Because every time you come into my life, I, my finances and my career get affected. And I ain't got time for that shit this time. I ain't got it to do. And I ain't never had it to do. You know? No. And then sometimes, you know, respecting relationships is doing what's best for the both of you guys. You know, it's, it's realizing that, you know... I do love you, and there's a lot of chemistry there and everything like that, but the best thing for both of us is for me to separate because you still don't know what you want. You still, you, you, I know that you love me, but I know at the same time that you haven't changed. So, me stepping away and me saying, listen, trust me, this is the best thing for the both of us because every time we get mixed up with each other, it, it just goes haywire. Yeah, anytime it start affecting money, I, I like I, I I can't, I can't sign up for that. So that's respecting the relationship. To let the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way, may it now fully belong to the divine. Just giving it to the to to God. Just like look, I love you, and I know you love me too. But I'm giving this union to the divine. You know? Let it unfold in a perfect way for each of us. You come back to me. You come back to me when you when you got your shit together. You come back to me when you love me, but you know exactly what you want. Your chariot ain't broken, ain't fucked up. One minute you hot, one minute you cold. And you still in this manipulating bullshit. You come back to me when you good. Okay, you come sit back to me when you're good. Because I'm going to let this unfold in a perfect way for both of us. Because I'm not going to fear letting go of control. Because my needs are always met abundantly. <laughs> okay. Aries, is that what you're going to say? My needs is always met abundantly. So I, I trust I trust in this situation that if I just give it to the divine, if it's meant to be, I respect you and I respect me enough that we need, you know. I'm going to give you some more time to get your shit together because you're still coming at me smelling real funky. And I, listen, where's so you might affect, I, because I feel like this situation, even though I don't see no swords right here. I really do feel like this situation in the past had Aries so fucked up that... They weren't able to work or you know what I'm saying? Like they like you see this release my ex card. It's just like, oh, like y'all were really fucked up about the situation. You know what I'm saying? And it did affect your money greatly. And every time this situation, y'all get yourself together. Y'all be super good. Y'all be super, super good. And then y'all let the situation or this person back into y'all life. And then everything just go downhill. And you just like, nah, I've worked too hard. On loving myself. On working on my relationship with myself. Okay? <laughs> to just let somebody... No. I don't trust this situation. Because you're still coming to me with some fucked up energy. I don't like it. And, it, and it's hard. When the, when the chemistry there. And you and you love the person. But you know like man. You ain't a shit. Please clarify this love situation for Aries. Thank you so much for April.
you're not about to be stuck in this situation no more. Feel like y'all negatively mirror each other. Y'all negatively mirror each other's energy. It's like, you cheat, I'm a cheat. You disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you. You slash my tires, I'm going to slash your tires. Not saying that it goes that motherfucking deep. But I'm just saying, like, y'all negatively mirror each other. And then y'all y'all just knock each other out of balance. It's not healthy. And that's why Aries said, I got to take action. Because I can't, I can't go in a new direction in this situation with you. Because this shit ain't going nowhere. It's not going nowhere. So if you wanted to go somewhere, I need you to take action and get your shit together and come to me better. Because I feel like Aries was stuck in this situation for a long time. And they finally freaked themselves. They're like, uh-uh, I'm not about to keep getting into this tit for tat ass bullshit with you. You do me wrong, I do you wrong ass. No, fuck that. I won't do it. I won't do it. I've worked too hard to try to get myself balanced. And if I get into this situation, if I even entertain this, even though the message is I appreciate you coming around and telling me that you love me and everything. And I, and I appreciate you coming at me longer, hard and stuff like that, giving me love and everything. But in order for me to respect this relationship, I got to keep it 100 with you and tell you how the fuck I feel about you. You still ain't got your shit together. And if I get back in this situation, it's going to be the same shit back. All no, I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. I got to take action and do what's best for me. I can't keep walking down the same road with you. I'm not about to take no new direction with you. Because remember, this person is coming to Aries, you know, or Aries is coming to this person. Like, listen, forget what happened in the past. Let's, let's, let's start all over again. Let's start fresh and, you know... Trying to come to them long and strong. Trying to offer them this cup. Being real chivalrous and real. You know, even if it's a a cancer, uh, a, a cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio woman, or Aries woman. It's still because it's nothing but cups here. It's nothing but cups. Child, it's just like, uh-uh. I don't care how much, because it's like, I feel like this person is coming around smelling like sugar spice and everything nice. Like, whoever this woman is, if this is a, a, a man being finessed by a woman in this way, like, she's she got her best outfit on, she's smelling good, she's looking good, breath smelling like cinnamon, like, she's just, like, really putting it down on you, Slim. Like, she's, like, really giving you the business, huh? <laughs> she giving you the tea. Like, listen... Like, really try to woo you down. And you know that she love you, so it's hard. But it's just like, bitch, you ain't shit. Like, you still, you still on your same fuck shit. And I, I smell that shit on you. And I'm not, I'm not for that shit. Spirit, please give Aries any additional guidance for the month of April. Thank you so much. Do you have any finance and career guidance? Queen of water. Oh, uh, okay. That water sign again. Yeah, y'all, some of y'all Aries, y'all definitely dealing with, um, some of y'all Aries, men, y'all are definitely dealing with a water sign woman. Okay, it's a Pisces, a Scorpio. And you just feel like this person right now is, um, you felt stuck in this in, in in a situation with this person because this person is very clingy to you, and you you focus on you being a star player. You focus on you. Yeah, you don't want to. Okay. I feel like for some of you guys. Okay, so I'm about to break this down in regards to career real quick, okay? So in regards to career real quick, you guys could be dealing with um, a supervisor that is um, a female 
and like I said she could be a Pisces can Cancer Scorpio but you feel like this woman is very like mood temperamental like this woman is like you feel like I almost feel like this woman is bipolar like one minute she cool and one minute she real sweet and when she real sweet like you love her like you fucking love her down but when she like in her back, you just be like, bitch, like, you crazy as shit. Like, this woman could really be down your back. Like, she micro man. Like, this is the type of woman that will micromanage you type of supervisor. You know what I'm saying? And you just like it when her personal life at work is cool. I mean, at home is cool. And she not bringing her, her shit at home to work. You feel like your supervisor bring her bullshit, her personal bullshit to work and that shit blows the shit out of you because when she be in her bag she just be down motherfuckers back and you just like look i i love you sis and i do like working with you but at the same time like i feel like because of your feelings for the supervisor and this person because you do love this person and you do see a lot of good in them You've been delaying, like, moving and finding another job. But it's just like, you know, there's really no delay in this shit. Because you can't, you, I don't feel like, <laughs> I don't feel like you can deal with this shit anymore. Because this woman is so all over the fucking place. And you just like, I, I, I don't know how to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? But I know how to deal with me. Because at the end of the day, I'm the star here. You know, I'm the star. Because if I walk away from this motherfucker, like, like, for real, you trying to stall me from leaving. And I feel like maybe this woman is a little bit, you know, clingy and emotional and real moody with you because she knows that you've been looking for another job or something like that. And she really just don't want you to leave. But at the end of the day, it's already been too much done where you feel like the environment ain't healthy for you you know what i'm saying and that's why i said relationships have to do with work as well work environment relationships and stuff too and it's like if you really value y'all friendship if there is a friendship if there's like a work friendship there it's like we can't work with each other you know what i'm saying like i gotta move on somewhere else because I can't be your friend and work with you as well. You know what I'm saying? If y'all have a friend situation. If it's not a friend situation, then this is just someone feeling like this is a clinky, moody ass supervisor. And it's time for me to leave. But it's something like kind of delaying. It's something about the situation where you delaying. And I feel like because maybe in this role that you're at at work, you do feel like you're in a star playing role. You know? Like... You really do believe yourself in you. You're very confident and you really do have a lot of hope and faith in regards to the progression where things could go here. If this person wasn't this person right here and this person right here wasn't like that, things would be different. You know what I'm saying? Your world wouldn't be upside down in this situation. But right now, it's just like I got to focus on me. I have to focus on me. You know, because I have faith in myself and my abilities of where I can go in the future. And I'm not going to stagnate myself. I, I'm just I'm just not going to stagnate myself no more. So this is like a divorce card right here. So this is like, you know, there's no more partying. There's no more celebration. There's no reunion. There's no getting back together. No. So if this is like a breakup in regards to. Like maybe you and your friend have a business together or you started out working somewhere and your supervisor was just a supervisor, but then y'all ended up being really cool or something. This could even be a situation where you fell in love with your supervisor. Like maybe you and your supervisor ended up messing with each other and y'all you feel like one minute things are good, one minute things is bad. And because this person has a certain level of power at this job because they're my supervisor they think that they can hold that shit over my fucking head in regards to this business situation and, and it's just like nah this shit ain't working for me this shit ain't working for me i gotta take action because this shit nah mm -mm. because i feel like you felt stuck in this situation and you about to get yourself unstuck because you feel like the shit that was going on in y'all personal relationship was mirroring itself in y'all work environment and you don't want to do it no more
You don't want to do it no more. So, if any of y'all been fucking around with y'all boss or y'all been fucking somebody at y'all job or anything like that, where you feel like someone has been one minute this person's hot, one minute this person's cold, you don't know, you, it's just like this person, no, uh-uh. You need to be able to trust the person that you with. And I don't feel like you trust this person. Because this person is, is is a trickster. And you're like, I'm the motherfucker star here. And I'm about to divorce this whole situation. So this person is about to walk away from this job or whatever it is. is Because for whatever reason, I want something in my mindset. And I never and I never say nothing about career. Cause I normally just do love, but something in my in my spirit told me to say something about career. Cause you feel like there's a lot of competition. It's some competition or something going on. It's like whatever, whatever. And I want to say Aries is like I I don't have time to compete with the bullshit that's going on in your fucking head. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a uh, Oh, a queen of wands, I mean, a queen of, of, of water in reverse. So, a queen of water in reverse can be kind of, I don't want to say psychotic, but can be kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because they're like, when they're like this, they could be very emotionally unbalanced. And they can conjure up bullshit in their head that ain't even going on because they're feeling anxiety. They're feeling insecure. They're feeling... You know, they're, they're, they're dealing with all of these negative emotions. And it's just like, my bad. Aries is just like, I don't, I'm not willing to compete no more with this bullshit going on in your fucking head. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not willing to do it. I'm not willing to fucking do it. Mm-mm. And again, if this is a love situation, this is just the Aries man feeling like, listen, you too insecure, you too clingy. My world but upside down, trying to get this situation together with you. But I gotta focus on me. I gotta I gotta build my faith back. I gotta I got to rebuild myself because this situation got me off balance right here. And I gotta take action. I can't I can't keep doing this with you. So there won't be no reunion. There won't be no celebration. And I'm divorcing. I'm walking away from this. There won't be any new beginnings. So I know you want me to have this new beginning with you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna decline. Cause I'm not willing to compete with you, anyone else, the thoughts that you have in your mind about this situation and what's going on. You still coming to me with unbalanced, fucking weird ass energy, and I, I'm not fucking with it. I'm not fucking with it, and I gotta respect this relationship because I do love you and I do care about you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying this to hurt you, because a lot of people think that Aries just be trying to be me. I'm not trying to be me. I ain't trying to be stuck in this fucking situation with you again. So like, come on, come on. When we with each other, we negatively mirror each other's energy. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. No. Let's get one more Oracle card. And then we're going to tap into some heart shock and shit. And we about. All right, Spirit, please give me energy in regards to where Aries is going to be feeling for the month of April. What type of mermaid is Aries going to be? How is Aries going to navigate these waters? Seen something flip over, yes. Sanctuary, privacy. <laughs> oh, boy, 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 boy. Mm, mm, mm. Sanctuary, privacies, inviolate, inviolate personal space, respected boundaries, and taboos. 
So right now, like I said, and I take this relationship card here. Like I said, it's about Aries respecting their relationships with their self and their relationships with others. Having their own private sanctuary where there's like a, a boundary of respect there. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like in each relationship that they have, you know what I'm saying? That there should be a private sanctuary of trust and a boundary of respect. That should just, you know, never be crossed. You know, that that, that, that should just never be crossed. And I feel for Aries, they feel like. They feel like for someone to be so toxic turby like this, for someone to be so clingy, for someone to be so immature, so insecure like this, like it 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 it, it almost like disrespects that privacy, like this person, and that's why Aries is just like. This person uses their power as some type of power. I don't know if, like, you live with this person or, like, maybe you lived with this person before and because y'all lived with this person before and, like, maybe you was taking a bath and you was chilling. Like, you felt like this was your sanctuary. This is where you should be comfortable at. But this person negatively uses their power whenever they're, um, they're emotional. Let me read the book. I want to see what the book says about this book. Let's see what this says. All right. Sanctuary. All right. The mere world has many blessings. And one of our most secretive and elusive is the power of melaninus. I know I ain't say that right. Anyway, fuck that shit. The mother, <laughs> the mother of all. What is it? Mel, Melison, Melisinus, whatever. The twin tail, Myrrh being part woman, part dragon, part Myrrh, part Fay. She is here to remind you that there are times when you need to declare to the world. This is my time and this is my space for you. Much time has been given to others to care for them, to look over them, to watch for them, to love them. Um, soothing them, band-aiding them and satisfying them and feeding them. And now it is your time in the legend of Melissa. Oh, God, I can't say this person's name anyway. It was said that this great queen would have each seven day and night for her own self. And within her sanctuary, in a solitude of deep and glittering bath, she would turn her true self utterly unobserved and utterly free. And her legend... And in this legend, her husband becomes so curious, he violates his promise to her and invades her sanctuary. Not only this, he is horrified at who she is when alone. Her message to you is that you have the right to be unviolated and have a time out and time alone during which you can be free to look. Be sound, dream, and swim as you wish. True freedom within a relationship happens when each person's boundaries are respected. When each person supports times. Ooh. Times for solitude and freedoms that comes within the trust. It has come a time now for your partner to support your space and your privacy and your time alone and you need for this time to be however as you choose it to be it is time for no one to invade or pry out of fear that their exclusive rights are being diminished or be betrayed 
It is time for your relationship to take a step and a level up into greatness where the independence of each other, the part of you that belongs to you alone is nurtured and respected, applauded and loved, but ultimately left to you to determine. Will you ask for this? Will you take this when it is given to you? And will you declare these boundaries to be sacred? In many cultures, men and women, individuals um, and genders have sacred space that is theirs alone. And it is a great taboo for others to enter into their space. This is your time. This may be taboo. This sacred space you set be held in awe and reservance by who claims to love you. But by doing this, they will show you that they do and love you entirely in the multitudes of you and support and uphold your freedom to be your own self. Okay. That most definitely. Totally. Totally, 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 totally clarifies this whole spread. It's about relationships, about respecting your relationships. It's about respecting relationships. And I feel like someone that Aries is dealing with does not respect their boundaries. Does And like I said, this is a clingy and emotional and insecure person. And they're trying to stop Aries' world from progressing because they're insecure. And like I said, and... I didn't even really know that this card was going to come out. But in my heart, my heart was telling me that Aries was saying, I'm not, I'm not willing to battle with, you know, and compete with the shit that's going on in your head. Because a lot of the shit ain't even going on. It's, it's some insecure shit that's going on in somebody's head, you know. And I feel like this negative bullshit is mirroring, you know. I was spilling over into Aries work and spilling over into Aries work or something. But I most definitely feel because something made me want to say something about work. Or well, one of y'all Aries is dealing with someone at y'all work. Please clarify sanctuary. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. You finally getting your piece of the pie. You know, you finally got a piece of the pie. Good times. Nigga, you just... <laughs> Aries is finally enjoying getting this good time. And it's just like, listen, I am... I'm going to have my peace. I'm going to have my place of safe refuge regardless like no one is going to get in the way of this and y'all are going to respect my boundaries and y'all are going to respect what i'm asking you if you're going to have this relationship with me it's about respect you know and like i'm going to give it to god you know and i'm gonna put love into the situation and i'm gonna hope that you put it love into the situation but if you truly love me you would give me space. You wouldn't be so fucking insecure. And you will understand that either you going to get your shit together or you not. But I have brand new opportunities coming to me. Nothing is going to stop me. No one is going to make me feel uncomfortable. No one is going to get me stuck in a situation that I don't want to be in anymore. Okay? Because you're unhappy and you're insecure. And you need to get your shit together. So like I said, come to me better. Come to me better because Aries is, is Aries is comfortable right now. And you're not you're, you're 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 going to respect their space. You're going to respect their space. You are going to respect them while they're in their place of this sanctuary in this sanctitude, in this sanity. They don't want to be in the insanity. They have brand new, brand, brand spanking new opportunities in love and career and just overall you know just it's tax time a lot of y'all probably just got y'all tax money so y'all probably sitting on the pretty coin right now so y'all are literally having y'all cake and eating it too let's hop into this hot chakra and then we up out of here because it's just like 
It's all about respect. It's about respecting. It's about respecting this relationship. You know? It's about respecting boundaries. And the fuck the thing is, is that Aries does love you. And Aries does have chemistry with you. But Aries loves their self. And they have... They trust their gut. You know what I'm saying? It's about trust. And they have to be able to trust you. Shine and lead. So this shine was in a reverse. I feel like right now, Aries feels like in regards to the situation with this person that's trying to communicate this love to them. And they just want to start over. They feel like with you that they would not be able to shine in a relationship with you. You're too insecure. You stagnate them and you hold them back because of your insecurity. And that puts a dark cloud around. That puts a dark border around them. Where it traps them. It keeps them stuck. It limits them. Where they're, they're not able to shine. And they're not going to do that anymore. It's not about you. It's about Aries. It's my time to leave. Okay? So now they're taking that darkness... And they're placing a border around their self. Okay? What well, can't no fuck nigga or no stupid bitch be able to break this border? Okay? They done went and got them some. What is this? What is this? Uh, black tourmaline? They went and put some black tourmaline somewhere. And they... <clears throat> I feel like some areas they don't put some black tourmaline stones all over their house somewhere. Okay? Got like little... These little pyramids and stuff just all up in their windows all over the place. Like, uh-uh. I'm protecting my sanctuary. Because I have to lead. And I have to have a border and a boundary of protection around me. To keep me sane. And to keep me happy. And to keep me focused on the positive energies. So y'all go get y'all some black tourmaline, okay? Or obsidian or whatever that stuff is called or whatever. Y'all go get y'all some whatever it is that you know that you need to keep you balanced and to keep you focused on your goal. And that's about respecting your relationship with yourself. Number one. It's about respecting your space. And people are going to have to respect your space if they want you to respect theirs. And that's what it all boils down to. Respect of the relationships. All right. So whoever this is trying to come back and communicate. I mean, listen. I'm sorry, but they got to lead. Aries has to lead, and they got to shine. And you get in the way of making them shine. And like I told you from the beginning, Aries is the star. Aries is the star. And nobody, nothing, no way, how, shape, form, or fashion will get in the way of them shining. Okay? They might have let you do it before, but you ain't about to do it again. All right? Bitch, like I told you, boom, I'm reloading. This has been your reading, you guys. This has been Scorpion Reds Tarot. You are your star player. Release this fucking ex. I don't give a fuck how much chemistry y'all got. Release that shit. Release that shit. I don't care if they try to come back and communicate with you. They can come back and... <laughs> we Aries did. Kick down them roses. Don't bring me no roses. I don't want your fucking roses. Okay? Because I know, I, I already know, you still full of shit. You still full of shit. You ain't changed. All thing you did was change your drawers and you changed the day. That's about it. I'm good. I love you too, though. But I love myself more. And I'm doing this for the both of us. I'm rejecting this situation for the both of us. Okay? So I'm doing what's best for the both of us. I love you. If this video resonated... Um, hit that like button, okay? Hit that share, hit that subscribe button if you're new to my page, okay? If you would like to book a personal or private reading, you can do so by clicking that about tab, all right? There is a link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me, okay? And, um, yeah. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Oh, if you want to give a, a love donation, you can do so. The... PayPal is in the description. I love you guys. Love and light.